Oh guys, that's an amazing news. We can now use Superbase in make.com. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna log into make.com and we're gonna create a new scenario. Once we arrive here, we're gonna click on webhooks and here you got several options, okay? So what we're gonna choose is custom webhook. So I'm going to create a new custom webhook that I'm going to call my Superbase webhook. And if you need advanced settings to pass the headers or JSON, you just click down here on advanced settings. And to trigger this endpoint, we got here a URL that we're gonna copy paste directly into an HTTP request on post man that we're going to use later. The next step is to create a new module and here we are going to call Superbase and we can see now that we got access to a different actions directly on the Superbase module in Make. But we first need to create the connection of our Superbase module directly to our Superbase instance. Back in Superbase, I'm going to go to Project Settings and to Data API to grab my project ID, not the URL, and my API key. Once it's done, I can see that I can select a table. So what we're gonna do, we are going to create a new table, especially for this example. I'm going to enable the RLS policies. I'm just going to select a UUID type for the ID and we are ready to go. Back on make, I'm going to update my table list and I'm going to select the table I just created. And we can see here that it's fetching the model. And if I want, I can pass here all the parameters that is going to arrive from the webhook. So here I'm just going to take basically an option here, which is the UUID corresponding to the ID. The created at will be generated automatically. We now need to take care about the RLS policies. So I'm going to create a new policy for select and here it's going to be on true. Be safe is just for the demonstration. We should delete it later. So everybody here, any role should be able to just select. First, we need to start by select any element of our table. Now we're gonna create a second policy and this policy will be to insert any data. Again, here there will be no rules apply and no check, it's just for the demo. And that's it, our model is ready. I'm gonna click on run once. And if I trigger the endpoint, I got a 200, the request has been successfully approved. And when I come back to Superbase, we can see in my table that I got new records.